All right, guys, welcome back. So apparently the first episode did phenomenal. I mean, I thought it was going to do well, but it did a lot better than I expected it to do. I know a lot of you have been recommending this game for several months now, and I know the reviews have always been great and people have always kind of praised the story. Um, but I just didn't expect it to do as well as it did. So thank you for that. I know a lot of you have been telling me to do the second episode or what have you. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of beyond two souls i kind of felt like i was playing some sort of stranger things kind of video game it, it had its moments where it was a little scary but then again i get scared off of pretty much anything right um but essentially from what i've learned i haven't looked too deep into the comments of the first video which i'm going to try to do that today i've just been really busy but essentially what i gathered is that we were pretty much adopted by a family that lost their child and so the family adopted us and with that came some uh or came a little girl with very supernatural abilities very special powers i don't know exactly what it is yet but we have some sort of like secondary soul imagine you know hence the fact that it's you know beyond two souls so we have like some sort of soul that communicates with us like a spirit and it can be very naughty or she or it i, I don't know right it can be very very cruel we can torture people we can choke them we can we can be nice you know it all depends on the mood but essentially this little girl has insane crazy supernatural powers and so therefore the family eventually realizes that you know it might be better to drop us off at a government hospital so they can check us out study us and see what's really going on with us so that's what they did and so time goes on we're already towards the end of the episode we're a little bit older we went to a party we got made fun of we almost killed everybody and now that's where the episode ended but it does seem like the doctor that was kind of taking over us appears to be our legal guardian now of some sorts or at least he really cares about us that is where we left off we are playing the remix version which again it does the entire story in chronological order because the original was all over the place and uh people complained about it i think and so they did this and now anyways yeah thanks for being here guys the story is insane I cannot wait to continue, so without further ado, let's do this. I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair. How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun. For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. So we're still... Ah! <laughs> what? So are we still living in the facility? Just maybe a different room? Yeah. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything. Hmm. Oh, we're about to sneak out, huh? Oh, it is the same room. It's just definitely more alive, more life. And uh, I like the emo style. We're going to go definitely through different phases. Um, Sure. Why not? All right, we got the couch. Let's see if we can interact with anything here. We've got the guitar. Relieve some stress. <laughs> Shithole. <laughs> well, that's one way to start the episode, boys. Oh my god, this bad's gonna go crazy. <laughs> so definitely some time has passed since our last video oh, episode, I mean. Oh, I like the little smiley face that she drew there on the camera. That's hilarious. Right over here. I think it was this way. 
full, right? It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun. I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. Please. Come on, Cole. Please. Please let me out just this once. Why do you have to tell Nathan everything? Ah, oh, he's so nice. He's, he's gonna let I'm her sorry, out. Sorry, princess, but I can't. It's not my call. Okay, he's not gonna let her out. Obviously, we have multiple choices that we can go about, but I'm not gonna be aggressive. He's super nice. He's part of the family. She is very, very upset at this. Like, she literally wants to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I want to go out. Do you hear me, Cole? Fucking let me out. Oh, we're getting aggressive now. Hey, no swearing, okay, Jody? Come on, man. Just let me out of here. Maybe. 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 Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna act crazy. I'm not about to make a mess in my own room. This is the only room, I, uh, the only room I got. But maybe I can turn off his uh, his boxing. Can I do anything to his boxing? Hold on, hold on. This might be it. Can I unlock the door? All right, let's mess with his boxing TV here. Yes. Stop it, Jody. <laughs> this is not going to do you any good. You're grounded. Period. What are you? Okay, so maybe that's not the answer. Maybe being a douchebag is not the answer. Hey, Jody. You know better than to use I when you're angry. Trying to see if I can find a way out of here, though, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that is not the answer. I don't think I have much of a choice here. I'm going to have to go crazy. I'm going to have to go crazy. Let's see. Um, that's it. You don't piss me off, man. Are you done? No. Are you proud of yourself? Uh, I hope so, because you have to clean all that up. Oh, for real? Uh, how about this? And, uh... Stop it, Aiden. They don't give a shit if we break everything in this goddamn room. Okay. If that's not gonna work, we have to figure out what will. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's calmed down. She smashed up the apartment first, but... <laughs> she's calmed down. Okay. Sure. I'll see you tomorrow. He's going to go to sleep, huh? Ah, <sighs> dude, I don't I don't want to do anything to him. Don't let it be bad. Oh. oh, what the fuck? I'm controlling this man. Oh, oh. That's freaky. I'm, I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but you understand, right? I just, I need to go out tonight. Why is she so anxious to go out? 
I mean, time has passed by since the last incident. Obviously, she's much older now. But you never remember what happened? People treated you like shit. Oh, we're being naughty. Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. It feels like she's really uh, gotten a hold of her of her powers. Honestly, huh? like she's in command. Now we're gonna go this way. Is this the exit? Is it here? Okay, <laughs> it's literally right in front of me. Locked. Oh, of course it is. Bro, he's like a freaking zombie. This is actually really bad. I don't know if this is what we're supposed to be doing. Like, I don't know if this is like one of the good choices or one of the bad choices. Hold on, give that man back his damn card. No? All right. He's like a zombie, dude. This man has been zombified. All right, Cole. Listen here. We've got to be very careful. Because if we get caught, God knows what they're going to do to me. So, well, hello, Cole. Whoa. Jody. Oh. The late for day trip, isn't it? Cole was just um, taking me to see the shooting stars. A apparently, there's like tons up there tonight. Have you seen them yet? Listen, I don't know if Professor Dawkins would be all right with you going outside in the middle of the night. Please. I mean, it's only going to be like a few minutes, and Cole is with me. And Cole is with me. I, 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 I've never seen a shooting star. All right, go ahead. I'll pretend I never saw you. What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? Uh. He, he lost. He, he lost his voice. I think it's like a a virus or something. That's more than that's more than I've gotten out of him all all day long. So, well, it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. Oh my God! <laughs> See ya, bro. Go on now. Oh my God. At least we don't have to look for Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. That's why I like these sorts of uh, these sorts of games because sometimes they put you in like these like, situations where are very very like nerve wracking. Like, am I gonna get caught? Am I not? You know. Probably gotta get his card, his keys. Now get in the car and start it up. All right, well, don't mind if I do. Now the thing is, are we going to drive her all the way there, drop her off at the party, and then come back over here and go back into the... That makes no sense. I have no idea what's going to happen here, but this is bad. This is real bad. Damn. I mean, I'm not really out of sight. Hold on. Maybe the back seat. Yeah. Let me see what happens if I go behind him just in case. Oh, <laughs> the trunk. 
You kidding me? It's not the most glamorous escape, but, but it'll do. Let's go, Aiden. I'll try not to attract attention, okay? Oh, that's not good because... Okay, I don't know if that's good because it didn't... What if they see the cameras and see that he's alone knowing that we were supposed to be with him to go see the stars? But maybe then the front security guard wouldn't have let us out. So maybe that was the right idea. This is a new ability that we just found out about. We can control people. Okay, Cole, what are you, what are you doing, man? Not only can we choke them, be nice, or be very aggressive, but we can control them. This is this is insane. You'll forgive me, right? I'll be back soon. And don't worry, I'll be fine. That's so irresponsible, man. That's so fucked up. What if he dies? Okay, Aiden. Take him into the forest. Make sure he's safe. What the fuck? <laughs> this man is gonna wake up smelling like forest. Oh, dude, that's so fucked up. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. That's literally super irresponsible. That's crazy, dude. Well, this is the place. The girls must be inside already. All right, hold on. I'm going to do something because last time it was horrible. I'm going to lower the music here like by a lot because I had like the worst copyright on the last episode and I had to edit the audio my crap ton and it was just it was a nightmare so I'm going to apparently there's still music Okay, well. They're not here yet. We'll wait. This is so awkward. Like, I don't even fit in here. What is going on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I uh, disabled the music, but there's still music playing. What the fuck is going on? What up, boys? Y'all ready for a round of pool? Okay, never mind. I will sit here like a good girl and just, uh, well, hello How there. Old are you, miss? I'm 21. Where I'm going to. I just want to eliminate. Oh, God. Is my living room. Yep. The Something fishy is going on here. Oh, isn't that the guy from uh, Detroit Become Human? Bro. Wait a minute. Dude, isn't that the abusive father? From the, 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 the father that abused the little girl from Detroit Become Human? And hold on, what's up with the music, man? Jesus. I'm gonna drink some water. Just, or le lemonade, excuse me. And then I get off. People are looking at me all sorts of weird. See, that's the guy. I swear, that's the guy from Detroit Become Human. I'm either crazy or... Or, or he just looks exactly like him. Why, why, why would I want to play Phantom Houses? Okay. Cool. Totally look like I'm 21 right now, you know? Just... <laughs> Let's go. Yep. I'm totally over the age. I don't look suspicious at all. See, bro, that's him. Oh, he actually just maybe, might just look very similar. I don't know. I mean, it's from the same developers, so, you know, maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Let's do it, punk. That's got to be him. It's like a younger version, huh? I'm about to beat this guy. And I'm pretty sure I didn't could control the balls and just... Oh, a conversation piece. Dude, that is him, dude. It's got to be him. <laughs> All right, cool guy. <laughs> Truth be told, you look kind of young to be in here. How old are you? Um, I'm 21. Bro, I'm just playing pool, dude. What are you talking about? Go in, damn it. It just ain't your lucky night. Am I supposed to do something when I get that prompt? Excuse me. Your parents know you're in here? Bro, will you? No. Actually, I snuck out to meet my friends. Oh, oh yeah, your friends. The ones who ain't shown up yet. Dude, am I supposed to do something here? Hey, back off. Go on, baby, you know you want to. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Who's there? Where are you, creep? Show yourself! Come on, you fucking coward! Oh my god, I don't want to hurt them just yet. Right. Fuck this bar up. And this is why you don't lie, you don't go out, Jody. Damn it. About to get gang banged, get gang banged by these criminals. Now, by the way, that's got to be the guy. 100% with that attitude and that fucking disgustingness. Uh, that's him for sure. Maybe I do gotta hurt this asshole. Maybe I should hurt him. Oh. It's like. Shut the fuck up, Frank. That's bullshit. Fuck it, Earl. I don't wanna die. <laughs> Earl. Nobody's dying. I forgot. We'll get the fuck out of here. I forgot the guy's name, honestly, on on the first, um Detroit Become Human. Jesus! What the fuck are you doing, Sam? <laughs> Open the goddamn door! <laughs> Ken! Stop! Get out of the way, I'll bring you down! Come on, Earl! Hurry! I don't know if I should, uh... Should I choke this guy? Oh, take control of this guy. Oh. 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 Come on, girl. Nah, I'm not going to do that. What the fuck? I don't want to do that. Come on, let's get out of here. Who's going to shoot the guy? Just fucking kill him. 
Jody! My God. Are you all right? Good God, what happened? I just wanted to go out. I'll just be like everyone else for once. Oh, no, I know. It's okay. It's okay. If I would have shot that shotgun and that guy would have been bleeding on the floor, this would have been a completely different case. Like other girls, you and 0% of players have taken these paths. So 90% passed the entrance guard. Didn't hear the customers. Hmm. Beat the attackers. 99%. Snuck or rushed out of the DPA. Stayed in the bar. Let the attackers escape. Wow. Wow. I guess maybe I should have shot that asshole. I just didn't want to be an assassin. I don't know. What if they come back to bite me in the butt? Like, what if, what if me not getting rid of them or killing them? By the way, though, the whole scene there with the pool that I missed, I missed twice. Was I supposed to do something? I didn't get any prompt or anything. That was kind of strange. Oh, wait. So are we over our emo phase or this years yeah. later? Huh? What, what's going on? Get dressed. I'll explain in the car. Hmm. The DPA has launched a program to study the other side. The infrabolt, as they call it. They've created a condenser. A machine to open a rift to what lies beyond. Wow. They opened a passage? To Aiden's world? Something happened last night. Entities got through the rift and we couldn't shut down the condenser. Everybody in the building was slaughtered. None of the rescue teams came back. They called and asked for your help. I told them you were just a child, that it was too dangerous. But they know only you know how to deal with what lies beyond the rift. Do it just to say, and I'll take you back. It's all right. I'll do it. Well, we have some sort of purpose in life now, right? So, I guess in her eyes, that this this might be an opportunity. Maybe a little worried. By the way, let me put the music back up because. I'm sure this part doesn't have music or anything, but just, just, just in case. Let's see. A little bit of atmospheric music oh, never hurt nobody. This is crazy. You can't send her in there. What are you thinking? You don't understand. She's the only one that can stop this. Have we got any information coming out of there yet? Anything? So we're just gonna keep walking regular without Aiden. Let's see what happens. I'm sorry, miss. You can't come. She can go. <laughs> well, that's right, little punk. I oughta beat your ass. Get out of line. I'ma kill you. Oh, dude, they killed everybody here, huh? Can you tell what could that be? I'm not telling us everything. These levels, nobody else There's no way to get The condenser is in the lower basement. You need to find the control room. That's all they could tell me. Johnny, the entities around the rift, they're not like Aiden. They're from the depths of the other side. We know almost nothing about them. I've been living with an entity that I know nothing about since the day I was born. I get it. Don't worry. I don't plan on dying today. 
what if she like gets to eventually be freed from Aiden at the end of the game? That'll be cool. I swear, if that happens, I don't know anything about it, okay? It's just another stupid guess. But considering that now we've opened a portal, right? What way do I go? Let me see. I don't know why I feel like going this way. I don't know about you, Aiden, but I'm scared. There seems to be some sort of cafeteria, maybe? Yeah, this is kind of creepy. Remember how we talked about it at the beginning of the video in the intro? That this game had some pretty scary moments. Oh. Administration, archives, and documentation. This looks like some sort of scene from Alien Isolation or something. Headed into the medical bay. Great. Oh, the elevator's stuck. So let's unstuck it. So where is it stuck? Oh God. This story is so interesting. Like, this is super, super interesting. You got a key card. Maybe you get the key card. might be one of those uh demonic entities that that uh we've experienced uh at the beginning of the first episode laboratories well here we go boys down into the depths of the laboratory This game doesn't even look like a Beyond Two Souls game. This looks like completely different. I feel like I'm playing a, an entirely new horror game that we've never heard about or something. I still can't believe these graphics look this good. Oh, dude, we're so fucked. Hello, sir? Um... to level four we've been warned We're not going there but fuck it yo this is so creepy
man. Nobody told me this was a damn horror game. there to see what happened excellent I don't know if breaking the uh, the fuse box or whatever the heck that was back there was actually a good idea I know I can feel it too they're here oh god stay close to me okay oh fuck Listen here, Jody. Why the hell are we doing this? This is not smart. Let's just go home. Okay? Just forget about it. Forget about it. Keep this one here. Call the emergency team. They're coming. Oh, fuck. I don't want to go past this part. I swear to God, I don't. I just really don't. Another poor soul here. Let's see what we can do. That's literally like identical to the same one. Remember she said the monster? Look, I don't care if I got all sorts of supernatural powers. You, you gotta have some big balls to be doing this. Jody, you, you got big balls. Okay, you are one brave young lady. I would be sucking my thumb back at the uh I can get up there. Back at the apartments. There we go. Okay, so that's where we gotta go. Just making sure there's nothing here that I can kind of interact with before we head upstairs to the ducks. This is alien isolation right here, bro. Going to the air ducts. Ah, oh, shit. No, no, no. What are you doing? Go back up there. Go back up there. Come on. I think we're gonna go across so we can be able to go across the fire like over the fire is that what's happening no it's not we're just in a completely different area right now Ah! 
It's fucking early, man. I, I, I decided to record this game first thing in the morning to relax and get my day started. Not to be getting my fucking lungs... Concentration of energy, which allows us to open a temporary breach. Can I see anything on that whiteboard? No. There we can. The vortex. Gates. Total input time 80 nautical seconds. Is that a thing? NS? I don't know what that is. Sorry, I'm not a scientist. Nor do I pretend to be or know the uh, scientific terminologies of this world. Ah! Probably break that. Maybe I can. I don't know what the purpose of this would be, but. Oh, there it is. Great. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there it is. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? More exciting. I have multiple paths. Okay, we're back on the other side. Somebody turned off the radio. Not me. It must have been the dead. Should I have to put put out the fire? Maybe a fire extinguisher? There's a firefighter right here, right? Yeah, let me go to him. Maybe I can get his ex extinguisher and kind of put out the flames and keep going in into the uh, into the hallway over there. Closer to the truth. Now, what the fuck? Oh, come on, 
Are you kidding me right now, dude? The fuck? Listen here, you stupid demons. It's too damn early for this nonsense. I didn't plan to play a horror game today, and I haven't planned to in, in quite some time, you understand? For uh, individual particular reasons. Wait, are you guys still alive, or you're dead, or you're or are you possessed? What's... I work with Professor Dawkins. The entities. They invaded the laboratory. Creatures from the depths. I, I managed to hide. But they're still here. I know they're still here. Try to get to the elevator. I mean, it's, it's working now. You, you should be able to get out. You're staying here? But those things, those, th those things will kill you. I'm not alone. We always face death alone. Could they have not made the arrows a bit more prominent? I don't I don't know. Something a, a, a bit easier to see. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Get out of there. I mean, in reality, that's not gonna hurt the spirit. I mean, it's just using a body as a vessel. As a vessel, he doesn't care. He doesn't feel that. You're just wasting your energy. And now we're probably gonna get eaten alive and die. Thankfully for us, we cannot get possessed because we're already pretty much possessed by or gifted by a spirit of our own. But what makes what makes our soul, our secondary sword, item? What makes them different than these guys? See, these guys are evil. Why is Aiden different? Or is he? Let us out for Christ's sake! Entities can go through matter! This won't stop them! Sorry, can't take that chance. What an idiot. Okay. So maybe there's somebody in there? No. They can go through matter, like you said. They're dead. All right, excellent. Stay close, okay? What's up? My name is Jody. Fuck. Well, 
Well, hello to you too, young sir. I mean, you're not very, okay. Oh my God. Stay cool and composed. We got this. Gonna squeeze on through. Oh my god. They've all been frozen to death. The condenser is close. I can feel the echo on the other side. Let's take it really slow. Maybe we can slip through unnoticed. Don't wake up. It is freezing in here. I don't know if I can interact with any of these guys, so I'm just walking around to make sure. Closer there. Now the question is, how do I? Right, now that I'm close, I can probably press the button. There it is. Oh, that's not a button. That's maybe go through the vents. Is that what it is? That's well, a bonus. What? You have unlocked a new bonus. Cool beans. We're gonna need a card for this. It's a pass card. Damn it. Come on, bro. It's probably gonna be that other other guy over there. I was just in there. Come on. It's probably gonna be the guy at the end. It's, it's gotta be him for sure. He's, the fuck was that? Please tell me that was just a camera a ca camera glitch. Yep, I fucking knew it. Got it. Please don't move. told me this was a horror game, dude. I swear to God. Oh, 
Yo, Aiden's our boy. Let's go. What a save. What an interesting game, huh? Insanity. that guy here we go there's something going on the energy level in the condenser is still rising we've got to shut it down now Okay, hold on. But what am I supposed to do? Can I... Oh, I can probably go through there. Or I can... Hold on, let me let me see if I can interact with this switch box here. No, so I can probably go through that crack in the window. Multiple cracks in the window. That's what it is. Really? There we go. Well, I can't open from this side. There's nothing to open. Can I go inside the portal? Actually, open the door. But I was here earlier. Why was this not an option? Oh, of course. Oh shit! My damn thing won't work. there's even something there like what if you head to the other column so you sacrifice your life and then you get there and there's nothing there i'm gonna make a run for the console i run you protect me from the entities okay
God, this is too intense. Oh, this is getting way too intense. Oh, you better run, girl. You better run. Oh, what the fuck? What? What? Let's go. Yeah, she runs really fast. <laughs> I probably would too if I was scared as fuck. Oh! It didn't give me a prompt! Why is it not giving me a prompt? I mean, I know it's up on the, on the joystick, but damn! Floor is lava. Challenge accepted. No, too too soon for that joke. Okay. Oh, we did it. Oh, what if I didn't left? What if I didn't? Are, are you there? Oh, I didn't think about that. Ida! 
I did not think about that. Oh, I don't know why I was sad. I mean, this has been her main issue all this time. But, lost you. but Aiden's been, he's been awesome with us so far. So it's okay. Aiden's fine. Everything's good. Yo, this was crazy. This episode was insane. Jody. Oh, I should have never sent you in there. It's my fault. It's all my fault. My God, I was so afraid I lost you. Don't let them ever do that again. If they open a passage, there'll be nothing left. Yo, this is Stranger Things, dude. This is literally Stranger Things right here. This is... I'm wondering if, a stranger, if Stranger Things got influenced by this or... or, or I don't know, like, man, inspired, huh? 25% uh, channeled all the bodies, 24%, wow, shame on you guys. Shut down the condenser, 80%, and 95% uh, killed the possessed, uh, possessed scientist. Very interesting. Ready? Yeah. Cole? Okay, I'm recording. I'm kind of happy she stayed with these two guys. I concentrate, Jody. They really like her. They love her. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. See anything I did? Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. her music box. Oh. Laura. Is this daughter passed away? Yeah. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell him. Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Hmm. Let's listen in. Listen. I never got around to telling her I need more time. No. Professor Dawkins, she needs to come with me today. I, I have my orders. Christ, she's only a child. My assistant and I are the only family she's got. She doesn't have any idea what's out there. Look, <laughs> Dawkins, I see your side of it. All right, I do. But orders are orders, right? You gonna bring her to me, or do I have to go and get her? Come on, dude.
Jody, could you come here, please? What's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents, the agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Wow. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. Oh my fuck you no. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. understand why me this unit belongs to the cia they've been tracking your case ever since you arrived they know what you and aiden can do i'm begging you nathan please don't let them take me away hey, jody i know it's difficult but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. No one can tell me what to do with my life. Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. No! What the fuck? I'll go get my things. <laughs> I don't want to choose that. I was trying to process what the hell to tell this idiot. Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to kill him. Dude, her life is so bad, bro. Like, she came here. She lost her family, which we haven't heard about in, like, God knows how long, so they don't care about us anymore. Then we get a bond with these two guys. We learn to love them, and now we gotta leave again. Yeah. Oh, dude, what is he done wrong? Poor girl, man. Look at all her shit, like... God, I would be so fucking sad. Can I sit down for one last time? Oh, let me take a look at this picture. Oh, I'm kind of glad I came and picked some belongings. I know he said only the essentials, but fuck him. Dude, what a bad one, huh? Oh, look, the other family. Oh. Shit. Tore that. All right, well, I thought we were going to put it in the bag. At least keep your mom's picture, you know? Fuck your dad. He's an asshole. I'm just wondering to see if there's anything else we can get from here. How about here on this table? Right, let's just go. No, I want to stay. <laughs> I want to stay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ah, fuck. Dude, that's so sad. Like, oh.
Wow. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be great. What? Hold on. Let me see if I can take out the music. I'm sorry, guys. I just I wouldn't want to screw this part up. Dang. I'm gonna miss the hell out of you, princess. Come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. His daughter died now. Maybe that's why he... Time to go. Wow, that sucks. Eighty-one percent told Dawkins the uh, what you saw. Seventeen percent obeyed Clayton, <laughs> and sixty-two percent spied on Clayton and Dawkins. I don't even know what to say. Um, this game is awesome. We're gonna end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see another episode, just drop it a like. I hope you are enjoying it. This is a really interesting story, especially now where where we kind of found like a bond with these two guys, right? Like a little family, if you will. And again, it's just all taken away from us. Anyways, thank you, and I will catch you on the next one.